guys, I have an I'm tired headache and I am all checked in, obviously, to my hotel. So I'm staying at the Hilton and I am now flat ass broke from staying at the Hilton. It's cool though, I have some pocket change so I can get some food and stuff, which I will probably do in a little bit. I'm trying to decide if I wanna take a nap now or just go to bed early because I have an I'm tired headache. And I already said that, whew. Flight was good, the flight was really good. Oh, I always rub my eyes in these videos. We're doing that. So the flight was good. No, teensy weensy bit of turbulence, but the pilot was like, hey, it's gonna be a little bumpy because there's a wind gust and voila, there was. Other than that, it was good. It's only, so it's approximately like a nine hour drive from Salt Lake City to, we'll say LA. And then it was only like an hour and 20 minute flight. So that was nice. Normally I drive, as some of you know, but it just made more sense this time to fly. Cause that was one last thing I had to worry about was trying to park a car. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off with everything else that was going on and gas working in that with food. So flying just made more sense. And then both my parents have a car too. So that's good. I am so sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, what was I gonna do? I think I'm gonna chill for a little bit and then I'm gonna do something about food for the week. I need to go hit a grocery store and just get some little munchies and stuff for the week. Is that free coffee? I don't know. Huh, anywho, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit later. All right, so I'm back at the hotel for the night. I took a shower after I went and got some food and got my badge and I took a nap ish probably more a cat mat i didn't actually fall asleep but i just laid down for about an hour and a half i feel so much better now it's just amazing my headache is still here but only enough that i know it's there so it's not pounding so it'll probably be gone in an hour or so thank goodness oh and hilton i don't know what beds you mattresses you guys use but this is one of the nicest beds i've been on apart from my own so i know You've got good mattresses. Whew. Because I was actually kind of worried about that. Let's move a little further so you're not all the way up in my face. Oh. The only complaint I have about this room is that there's not a microwave. So I had to be a little careful what kind of food I got. Which means I'm probably going to end up eating out a little more than I wanted to. Which doesn't thrill me. But hey. I've got some snacks for breakfast. And some coffee i think the coffee here is free but i'm i don't remember and i'm tired still anywho i'm going to just stay at the hotel for the rest of the night and just veg just chill all right and i will see you guys in the morning ciao okay can i just take a moment to thank the lightbox expo staff for making a big map so that you can actually see it and read the goddamn letters to know where you're going. I just, just thank you for that. Thank you so much. Just thank you. It's really nice. Other conventions should take note of that. So it's almost noon. Hopefully it's not too noisy out here. Um, they're gonna open the exhibit hall in a little bit. There is a long line to get in. So I'm just gonna hang out here in the shade where I'm not gonna melt for a few more minutes before I go in and look around and try to take some video if I can. I have a panel at 2.30 I wanna go to. That is a must for the day. Um, and then I have some other panels picked out. So check back in in a minute.
guys. I didn't take a whole lot of footage today, obviously. Um, I pretty much got there and waited like an hour and a half for the doors to open before I could go in. And then I tried to make a panel and I didn't. I made the most important one though. I did make the Nathan Falks panel. Oh, yeah. I'm hot again. Yeah, it's summer. I, I do nothing in the summer but complain about the heat. Moving on, I am going to sit. So I got there early and I was awake, so I was like, what the heck, why not? Let's go over there. So I did, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited. I did not wait in the sun. Those of you who waited in the sun, you're silly. There was shade. There was good shade over there. So I waited in the shade and I caught Pokemon. That's what I did. Um, walked around the floor a little bit today, just trying to see where some people were that I wanted to see and try and talk to a couple studios beforehand. Switching hands. Okay. So one of the things, um, they're not doing portfolio reviews per se, um, or at all, really, at the um, various booths for the studios, like Disney, DreamWorks, they're not exactly doing a portfolio review. The recruiters are just there to answer questions and talk about projects coming up and things like that. So I tried to talk to, I briefly spoke at the, to the DreamWorks people. I might try again tomorrow to see if they had any, um, if it was just the recruiters there, if they were gonna have anyone from background design and props there that I could maybe talk to for a minute and pick their brain at. I'm, much as I want a job in an animation studio right now, I know I'm not ready. I know that. I know my portfolio is not up to par. I know this. I acknowledge this. I'm working on this. And I'm just trying to see what else I need in there. I did get one clarification from a recruiter today with Disney. Um, she said one thing that they look for is three to five projects with a style range. So that was good to know because, I don't know, maybe one of you watching this knew that, but I sure as heck didn't. Um, so that's nice to know. So I got that answered. And I put in a sort of, sort of, application with um, Netflix Animation. They had a little thing there, and they were taking information from artists and stuff on it, and they're going to show it to, they said art directors and the recruiters, um, and they said they're doing that as opposed to just taking everybody's business cards and doing mass portfolio reviews, which I kind of like. I would be shocked if I heard back, but hey, it's in the ring. I might get a nice surprise, or I might get what I've had for the last four years. Nothing. It was a little more salty than I intended it to be. Sorry, guys. Anywho, so yeah, I'm home for the night, or the hotel for the night. Yeah, it's 5.15, and I feel like it's later just because I'm so used to Utah time now. I think it's like almost 6.30, because at home it is almost 6.30. Um, there is one thing that I haven't done yet. Um, CGMA, um, was there giving out free books. And a bunch of people were, were like, taking four, five of these packages. Um, I flew down, so I only took one. I might get one more for a friend. I don't know. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But for right now, I only have one. So, I'm gonna do a before and after of that. I'm not doing an unboxing just because one, this isn't that video, and two, I've only got a phone and I have nothing to connect it to. Okay. I might just take photos of before and after and just slap them on here if you don't already see them on my Instagram stories. Yeah, but anyways, I'm gonna chill for the night. There's a panel at 10 a.m. tomorrow I wanna try to go to. So I will see you guys in the morning. Wow, that lighting is terrible. <laughs> That's not much better.
Okay, we'll go with the terrible lighting. Hi. <laughs> oh God, it's it's too hot outside. Okay guys, I am back at the hotel for the night. Day two is over. I am looking forward to digging into this food I just got. Oh man. I made almost every panel I wanted to make today. So that was good. There was one minute down there at the end where I was debating between two panels and I'm glad I chose the latter. Um, it was one with networking in the creative community, which I know how to do, I'm just not very good at it. And the other one was um, artists on YouTube. Um, one reason why I have this channel, <laughs> um, so that you guys can see what it's like being an artist and going to conventions and stuff, but, oh, sorry, my, my hands are shaky, my hands are shaky. Um, but the other thing is, you know, I want to, you know, network with you guys and like, have a wider range of audience. I mean, why not? Why not? Oh, but yes, um, I met a lot of people. I met um, someone today who this was their first um, sort of, we'll say industry-based, um, I just lost my word, convention. And they were really surprised. And they really enjoyed it. And the only thing I will f fault this show for is that there's a lot of lines and there's a lot of people and the event might be a little, or the event, the um, Pasadena Convention Center might be a wee small for it. I mean, but hey, you know, whatever. It's working. I haven't heard anybody say anything negative. I haven't had a negative experience. Oh. It's been a great heavy side. I'm tired, I'm hungry, I'm hot. I'm a trifecta of trouble right now. But yeah, so it's 6.20. I'm gonna have some food. I'm gonna look at some stuff. I need to make a list of things that I need to do um, when I get back to Salt Lake City for my art jobs and um, for this channel, because I'm trying to be more active on here. More, just more active, really, and create more content. That's a separate video for another time. Um, a lot of things are separate videos I've been saying recently, isn't it? Uh, list, the list goes on, the list goes on. So I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna chill for the night and need to shower after I eat, and then tomorrow is the last day, and I go home on Monday. I'm kinda sad to be leaving in California, I miss living here. <sighs> I don't miss the price tag. This place is ridiculously expensive. But yeah, it's been nice to be back. I've seen a few familiar faces, you know, no one who knows me personally, but um, yeah, and talked to a couple more people on the show floor. It's been fun. Um, there are a couple questions I haven't had the chance to ask or be answered yet, but hopefully that's going to end tomorrow. If not, then I've got some more digging I need to do, and I apologize for the bad lighting. Um, yeah. Yeah, hopefully that's not messing with any of you too badly. Okay, all right, I'm tired. I have to eat. I, I've got to eat. It's a little cloudy this morning. I like it. I wonder if it'll stay that way. Good morning, everybody. It's the last day of the expo. I'm gonna head out the door soon. Sorry, switching arms. My first panel's not to like 11, and it's like just about 8.30. But I'm gonna head out just a little bit anyways. I had coffee in the room this morning. It's a little weak, but no, I didn't expect too much, and I didn't need too much. <sighs> I'm tired. I probably could get in another hour of sleep, and I went to bed early. But it's... You just saw the little clip. It's nice and a little cloudy this morning. I don't know if that's gonna last or if it's just the marine layer burning off or what it is, but it's nice. It's very nice. Mom sent me a photo, a video this morning. It's raining back in Salt Lake City and I feel kind of chipped. It's raining and I'm not there. I'm kind of mad about that. But anyhow, I'm gonna head out now. You know it's Sunday, 
because there is absolutely no traffic. <laughs> it's a lot hilarious. over lightbox year one has wrapped up um i don't know that anybody who i've talked to or anything will be watching this um but but um i just wanted to give a quick thank you to everybody who was nice enough to talk to me and who gave me advice i really appreciate it and just it was nice meeting everyone who i met it's just the list long but it was really nice to meet you guys and thank you. And I look forward to this next year. Um, closing thoughts on this. I think this is the first time where I've left a networking event and I haven't felt like a POS. Which shouldn't be that difficult, but no, this was this was a great, great event. The only tiny complaint I have is the lines, but I think today they got that pretty well handled. Um, so now if they can just keep um, that up next year. Um, the dates for next year are on my badge. So we're gonna go on an unexpected walk. But yeah, everybody who got a badge, like the dates for next year are on the badge. It will be um, September 11th through 13th. Um, it doesn't say where it is. My guess is it's gonna be back at the Pasadena Convention Center. Um, I'm not as familiar with the convention centers in and around Los Angeles as it should be, but the only other place I can think of where they might take it would be like Staples Center, LA Convention Center. But that would be a little more money with hotels and stuff than some attendees are probably able to drop. So my guess is it'll be at the Pasadena Convention Center for at least the next two years, which is great. Ooh, excuse me, I have the burps. Which is, it's a really good venue. It's in a nice location. Pasadena is a great city. One of what little of it I've seen, um, and I'm, yeah, I'm excited to come back next year. So yeah, I'm going to try to drag some friends next year, along with me, who I think could have benefited from coming with me. And you know who you are. But no. It's, sorry, there's all kinds of distractions. It's a pretty day outside not too hot today it was pretty hot this morning but not too hot right now outside it's pleasant so yeah that's nice i've got a flight tomorrow my flight leaves at 3 20 um cali time and then i'll get home at about six just after six mountain time so about an hour 20 minutes i'm gonna leave the hotel before 11 probably between 10 30 and 11 o'clock in the morning um, cause of when checkout is. And I've got some snacks that I need to stuff in my face in the morning and whatnot. There's some bagels. I don't know if I'll be able to smush them in or not. Figure that out. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Anywho. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna shower. And I'm just gonna chillax the rest of the night. There's a lot I need to think about when I get home. A lot I need to look into. Most of it good. 95% of it good. Um, but no, I enjoyed my trip to Lightbox and I look forward to the second show next year. Later. <laughs>